friends, my name is Jinx and welcome back to Frambo. We are back in the Fifth Realities Doctor Room. So, as I've said, I'm expecting Dr. Dean to come out as the creepy bastard. Uh, here we go. <gasps> I knew it. Hey, Kelly! <laughs> Fembo's just like, it's like she walks past Dr. Dean, like bloody and gory, and traps her chair, and she's like, Cat! I missed you, Mr. Midnight. Kelly, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kelly, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. At least he's happy. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. Is this ain't funny? It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll tell you to a vest, my darling. Patronters can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. That's nice. Yes, Dr. Dean. What's wrong with him? Are you alright? There's this thing. this thing <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> oh I thought I was gonna kill him well I guess the swinge or oh, I could use a knife but that won't really wake him up here you go Mr. Dr. Dan hee hee whoa Flambo you need to calm down hee hee maybe this will wake him up hey yeah this is revenge ah damn what was that don't worry, Dr. Dean, it's just me, Fran. How are you? How's it going, Mr. Dr. Dean? What? I don't see you very well. Fran Bell, sir, from the hospital asylum? What's the cemetery? Remember, your head got chopped off, but... Here you are. Fran, what happened? Why am I trying to trip? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big bat <laughs> monster brought you here. We must go. How scary would it be if you actually woke up with a small child telling you, like... Like... You wake up, chop your tail, and the kid is telling you it's a big bad monster, and you're just like, no thanks. Come on, fine monsters, I don't feel like playing games. No way, it wasn't a monster at all, just let me help you. Oh, okay. What's she doing here? I thought you chained her. Ah, oh, I did, but she told you, I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? You're with me? I'm great. What are you talking about? Who's this old man? I love it. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Dr. Dean, wake up, please. This is a big moment. Oh, great. Okay. Why are you my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying Maleficent's competent. Maleficent? Nope. Magnificent? Complex territory. I'm mucking up more words I can say in my life. Of twin siblings, Lucifer and Grace was part of my study. Both helped me to find the key to success. The key? Hmm. Do you know my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. We mother did a great job. This power of manipulation is extraordinary. But I don't understand how you'd be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife after all. I'm not calm, sir. I know it's been all the time, but why did he hunt me? Remo is the manifestation of your weakness. A blind, powerful manifestation of all your fears. But why would the monsters kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But they actually did you a favor. You are suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, friend. What's your plea? Let's just do what we needed to do. We should run. We shouldn't be sad. We should run. Okay. Let us go. So that always works. Oh, apparently it will. Yes, you're right, friend. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Is that the accent, or...? Go with your aunt, is that what you want? No, not really. Oh my god, did you put my fucking ass I'll fall asleep. Right, exit. Let's go. That's not an exit, ma'am. This is the morgue. Fred, my dear, listen to me. You must know that Oswald, Dr. Oswald, only wants the best for you. When Lucy was pregnant with you, he knew you would be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. 
She probably wants to kill you. That's not true. Doctor also really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. I think all this considered is a pretty big damn expensive experimentation on me. Everything will be fine. Of course, there is still one little thing we must take care of. This little trailer must go. Hey! You bitch, what did you do that for? Come on, friends, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. I wonder why. <laughs> oh, uh oh, uh oh, stand back. But that was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How could you live with yourself? I hate you. Ah, I hate you. Oh God. Oh the oh the so, friend. Friend. Whoa! Okay! Okay, um... Why well, does he have a gun? I thought it was a ridiculous old man wheeling up to us, but he has a gun. Don't you dare talk great, you little monster! Goodness, she's totally insane. No, she's totally dead. Oh my god. Just... Huh? No. Dr. Dean, what have you got to say about that? <laughs> this guy's a doctor, right? Fran, are you okay? Are you alright? Link tries if you're not okay, Fran. Oh my god, what the hell? No, you won't, she's mine now. Oh my god. It's a train, oh it's hit with, hey! Holy crap, he has power. And he just killed like two people. Oh fine, everything will be fine. <laughs> what the hell? What does it would visit these kids? Oh, hello. <laughs> what is even happening? Hey, Mr. Midnight! Oh, another black cat with yellow eyes. Yeah, she must be cured of this bullet. Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the innocence of a child. Fan is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fan, and you'll be able to walk towards the light. And through the power of love, she will be fine. Is that the bullet? What is even happening? My heart hurts. Uh, what? But can the cat talk? This is an important question, it would. If he faints, I'm gonna laugh. Yeah? Oh. Uh oh the syringe no way has not been really nice so let's go no what about the swinge I don't think this is real we're coming one with everything am I dead jeez Oh, that's sweet. Well, away he goes. Bye. 
Bye bye, Dr. Dan. What about the swing? He dropped it. It must be important. I still don't know many things. One thing I do know. That between guilt and fear, I choose happiness. I don't think words describe the f how confused I am right now. Oh, and that's the end? Okay. What? What? What the hell did that all mean? Wow, that really was the end. Wow, okay. That was insane. Well, well, I'm totally made this game. This game is incredible. I'm just so damn confused. Man, okay, apparently no one online knows what the hell this ending actually means. I guess it was um, the game to talk about... Like, the, the to really really seriously blur the lines between imagination uh, good and bad and reality and as you progress through the game it goes from being solid in reality to completely being flipped over um so obviously near the end where all the you know kind of questions the big questions you have about this game gets answered you can't really trust any of them because everything you're in the fifth reality if that even exists because you're now questioning everything like did frambo like was it real or was it frambo just making the whole thing up and then like the pills were meant to make it um the pills were supposed to be a clear cut like without the pills this is reality and everything's fine and dandy well not fine and dandy but you know nicer and then in the pool world, it's a bit crazy, a bit more funkier, and there's a lot of bloods and core everywhere with shadow monsters. Um, but there was that, s that nurse's office where you took the pills and walked past the nurse and put the key on the hook and walked back. And then you get out of pool land and she says, oh, there's the key. And she's obviously never seen you. So that's like the first instance of the pills are actually something a bit more than just uh, like uh, imagination. It's a bit weird. I don't know how you would ever f find a way around that. Hmm. So I guess it's up to whatever you think of this, uh, basically. And wow. Interesting. I'm interested to know what you guys think of it. How it all connects to that is. Was anything real? Was it a bit real? But sadly, I don't know. I don't know. The game does a nice, like I will say this, I don't like games where it's completely off the walls crazy at the endings, like this one. Like, just not saying this game's bad, just preferable points since I like having my answers, or like at least, like, enough mission to keep you going that's fine but with this i think the most i can say about this game that it does really 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 well is the fact that you had a really nice gradual like from reality into like steeping down into more more craziness and that was just and it completely flipped like from beginning to end it was completely flipped it was like like five first five minutes of the game is you have the normal world and then pool world and pool world wasn't real it was it was made up or imaginary or it was her feels coming from the pills and that was it by the end 
it, there was no pearls. You were in crazy town. A lot of you, you couldn't make sense of anything. And like, I think that's made on purpose, really, because the end, like, it was all uh, a confirmation of things that we knew Fran knew, things she said she knew, things we experienced in the past and knew in different ways that we didn't expect it, and then completely stuff that we had never seen before and Fran Bolt. Uh, never had a, we, a connection to. So it's like, if it's all in her mind, then how does she know this? When did she come up with that? That kind of stuff. So it is awesome. It is pretty good in that sense. But anyway, that was the end of Frambo. The ending is what you'll make of it, I guess. That's all I can say. Great game, though. I definitely recommend taking it out. There is a couple of achievements that you can get. Some are very easy, and some are just a couple of things here and there. Um, so definitely a work uh, a game to check out in the future if you want to. But anyway, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, why not subscribe for more awesome content? Now, see you.